Hello, welcome to SunCut's quick tip tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss cutting by color. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to be using the Mac OS 10.8 and Illustrator CS6. But the procedure is similar on other operating systems and with other design software. The first thing we'll do is we'll use our plugin and choose the file menu and send our design to SignCut. The drawing is now loaded in SignCut and you can see here we have a four color image represented by the swatches in the color bar on the right hand side of the interface. You may toggle between these layers by clicking each swatch to see how that individual layer will look. And we have the optimize turned on so that we're going to use the minimum amount of vinyl. If we change that and use the whole area, you'll see that each layer would be wasting a bit of vinyl uh, on these lower layers, the green, the yellow, and the red. By choosing optimize, it will cut down on the waste, and so that'll make you a little bit more efficient. By selecting all layers now, we're ready to either cut this out as it is, or we can take a couple extra steps. Uh, to cut it out as it is, you could select the layer you want to cut, choose the scissors icon, and then cut that particular layer out. Then reload your vinyl with the next color and choose that particular layer and cut that out to repeat the procedure until you've gone through all of the layers. A more efficient way to do this, though, would be to cut them all as layers, but first we'll add in some registration marks to make our installation of these graphics just a little bit easier. And for this particular image, I'm going to put in four registration marks. And now, if we'll toggle between the layers, you can see that these registration marks are going to appear on each layer. Making aligning these layers in our final installation much easier. We're going to select all the layers again. And then from the special cutting menu at the top of the screen, I'm going to choose special cutting and then cut by color. This will load the cutout dialog box. By previewing the image, we can see what we have our results for cutting will be. This is the green layer. And if we scroll up, you'll see that the next layer is the red layer, including the registration marks, the yellow layer, and finally, the black layer. All layers will include the registration marks, and they're optimized for cutting so that we'll use the least amount of vinyl. We'll close that preview, and then we're ready to cut. By clicking the cutout, after we have loaded the green vinyl, the layer, the first layer, the green, will cut. Then it'll proceed to the next layer, and so on. This is a quite efficient way to produce multicolor signs, and I hope you'll explore the procedures and find the workflow that works best for you.